So I'm off to the French Alps to hike the GR54. What I'm going to do is get some of my gear out, change things up just ever so slightly for what I'd normally take in Scotland. So let's get stuck right in. So when I first started wild camping, I used to take my Osprey Talon 33. Everything got in this, no problem at all. But then my gear got lighter, but my packs got bigger. And now I take this um, Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor, which is up to 60 litres compared to 33. So I want to see if I can get all my gear back into this for doing the GR54, just to make life easier, having a lighter pack, particularly for the flights as well. So um, I'm going to get everything out and then we'll take it from there. Right, so here goes. We've got the Dustin XMID, one person. I've got my old Cumulus sleeping bag. I've got my, it's not a light tour. This is the Xped Sinmat HLM. The old trusty decathlon pillow. Socks for sleeping in. Long johns for sleeping in. A t-shirt for sleeping in. I've got my mountain equipment waterproof trousers. Little poo shovel, sunglasses. Here we've got the Zolio with a whistle, stove and fuel, head torch, toiletries are in there, first aid kit, waterproof jacket, micro spikes because there is snow holding on the high passes on the GR54. Got another couple of weeks so hopefully the snow melts a little bit more. One spare pair of boxers, spare pair of Bridgedale socks, Montaigne prism gloves, a sea to summit towel. I'm not taking this, that's only 10,000 milliamps. I've got my Pete and Diesel buff for the evenings, and this is the power bank I'm taking here. This is a 20,000 milliamp power rav. I've had this a few years now, so hopefully that's still working. It's quite weighty, I'm sure there's lighter ones, but don't see the point in buying a new one until that starts to fail. So what we'll do now, we'll get all this into, hopefully, the Osprey Talon 33. Almost forgot as well, there's my water containers. So I've got my Salomon filter and two knockout doors bottles as well. And my spoon, can't forget that. Right, let's have a go. One Osprey Talon 33. Let's see if this will work. I'm sure it will. Well, not get my food in though. So I usually do ten and first down the side. Then the sleep set up. We'll go in next to it. Already that feels tight. Right, that's in. Next will be my pots. I'll probably ditch the cup inside here for the Alps, but I'm taking that with me tomorrow on the Memoirs with Kevin. But just for making it lighter, I'll definitely be ditching my cup inside. So we'll shove that in. Unlike the Sierra Designs pack, that is not going all the way to the bottom. Right. Then we've got spare clothing. Toiletries, sunglasses, other sundries, power bank, etc. That's all in there. It's going to be a struggle. I think this is alright for a night or two, but I don't know about going to France with it. Waterproofs. Micro spikes. We'll put the water containers on each side. Nah, this isn't happening. <laughs> Not happening. Maybe need to admit defeat and get something like a 40 to 50 litre pack if I want to change up. Maybe get an atoms pack or something like that. 
but I don't want to spend more money at the moment. And that leaves a spare one of these that can go in there. My stove. So it doesn't really leave me much room for food. Hopefully you can see that in the camera there. And obviously when you cinch that up, that nah, that's hardly any room at all. Passport in some motion, it's not included them here, but they don't take up much room. Juice of spades, I get launched in there. Spring that around. Spoon can go in there. Doesn't leave much room for food. I think you have to carry up to about two to three days worth of food at any one time on the GR54. The Zoleo and the trusty old whistle, although I could ditch that because I've got one built in on the sternum strap, albeit it's not as loud. Now, Club, where's the luggage scales? Okay, right, let's go find the luggage scales. So what I forgot to mention is I'm not taking an insulated jacket with me. I'm going to take my little gilet from mountain equipment instead. It's much lighter and if it gets cold, I'll just have to go in my sleeping bag. So that's coming with me, much lighter and packs easier than an insulated jacket. Right, we've got the luggage scales. Let's see what this is going to weigh in at. Nah, that's coming at 2.5 kilograms, I know for a fact it's not that. So one more attempt. I think it must have been the way I lifted that. Three point seven kilograms. I'm not buying that. I'm going to get the the analog ones. The only thing with these analog ones is it's not. I've reset it, but it's not sitting right on zero. It's just below. I'll try it anyway. Yeah, that's coming in at six kilograms. So you could probably dock some of that off. So five and a half kilograms, I reckon that probably weighs. Maybe a good idea to try it on for comfort as well. <clears throat> nah, it's, it's curving at the back, so It'll be fine for the weekend, but I'm not taking that for two weeks in France, no chance. So, flex capacitor it is. Right, that's me got everything decanted across to the Sierra Designs pack. Let's get this weighed up now. Just shy of seven kilograms. So that actually makes sense because obviously it's a bit of a heavier pack than the Osprey one. So my shoes of choice are these. They are the Innovate ones, the Rockfly G350s. They're not the waterproof ones, these are mesh so they're pretty breathable and will allow water to escape. I've got these out of retirement, don't know if you remember these from the Cape Raft Trail. They are my little Montaigne ankle gaiters. So perfect just for keeping dust and debris out. They're really good then. Going from head to toe, we have the Outdoor Research Bucket Hat for the sunny days. So just give them a bit more protection. So really like this. Weighs virtually nothing, so that should be really quick drying. I'll also take my baseball cap as well. I do like a baseball cap. For my torso, I've got this mountain equipment micro fleece. That'll be for the sort of chillier days and wearing at night. Underneath that, I'll have my base layer on, which is the Fru Dark 
and it's got this new Prolotech, I can't remember the exact name for it, but it's really good for wicking. It's one of the best I've used outside of merino wool. My trousers, I'm just going with the tried and tested Montaigne, the, the Terra pants, I had to think there. Boxing shorts, I think I mentioned these before, and the Saks ones, and the darn tough socks as well. So there you have it, I think I've pretty much covered everything. If you've got any questions, do drop them in the comment section below, or if you've got any suggestions to make this even better for me, again, just leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll catch you next one. Cheers.